So the other day I put out a video where I used um, sidechain inside of the machine and I had a few people ask me how I go about doing that. So I thought I'd make this video and show you how I do it. Okay, so I've got this little loop going. And I'll show you how I put sidechain compression on it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to find a sound to trigger the compressor. Now I've opened up this drum kit and I think I'm going to use this hi-hat sound. Generally it's good to use a sound that has a sharp attack and doesn't last for too long, so a hi-hat is perfect. Second thing we need to do is to load up a compressor onto the group. Now straight away it's taken me to the sidechain input, but if that doesn't happen you just click over from main to sidechain input. The next thing we do is to select the uh, source input. So what I'm going to do is to go down to group B, the kit's called stacking kit. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to record a pattern of this hi-hat. <laughs> Straight away, you can hear that compressor ducking down whenever the hi-hat plays. Now, one of the things that I like to do is to have the sound triggering the compressor not actually be heard in the mix. Now, the way we do that is simply going to the input-output section of our group. You see here that the output is going to the master. Now, we select that and we hit none. That way the hi-hat sound won't be heard through our master. I'll give you a listen to that. Now you can hear that we've still got the ducking effect going on, but we can't hear the hi-hat anymore. One thing to note when doing that is you have to set up your compressor before you turn the audio output to none. If you turn it to none, beforehand you won't be able to select that sound or that group as an input for your compressor. Okay so that's basically it. I hope I did a good job explaining how I go about using sidechain compression. If you have any questions just leave them in the comments I'll get back to you. Just for kicks let's add some drums to this so you can hear how it sounds.